Germ theory of diseases, describes that, diseases are caused by tiny germs. This is an accepted scientific theory for many diseases. These tiny germs, invade human beings and animals. Their reproduction within the host, cause diseases. Many scientists had proposed the germ theory, even much before Pasteur's experiment. But, all those proposals were remain unrecognized. Girolamo Fracastoro, suggested that diseases are caused by invisible living organisms transmitted from one person to another. This was further supported by Marcus von Planchis. Planchis, not only stated that living germs are the causative agents of diseases, but also said that different germs are responsible for different diseases. However, these views were dominated by Gale theory. The concept of germs to diseases, had become quite general, during the 18th century. In 1842, Oliver Wendell Holmes believed that puerperal fever, a disease of childbirth, was caused by a germ carried from one mother to another, by midwives and physicians. At the same time, Ignaz Philipp Semmelweis, from Hungary, started using antiseptics for hand disinfection during obstetrical operations. And, he also explained the importance of hand disinfection to other physicians, and advised them to use. This has gradually reduced the rate of deaths caused due to infections associated with childbirths. Semmelweis was called as savior of mothers. He then published the concept and prophylaxis of childbed fever in 1861. His work was ignored though, the concept of antisepsis was brought into life, by the experiments of Joseph Lister in England. Later, the importance of antisepsis was completely understood, and appreciated by medical profession. The other side. Louis Pasteur had successfully worked, on the fermentation issues, and Pebrine disease. Pebrine is a silkworm disease, that ruined the silk industry in France. Pasteur was then challenged to work on anthrax, by the French government. Anthrax is a disease of cattle, sheep, and rarely human beings. He isolated the microbes from the blood of infected animals. Simultaneously, Robert Koch, was also working on anthrax in Germany. Because of his interest in bacteriology, he continued to work on anthrax, and discovered that the germs that cause anthrax, are rod-shaped. He also isolated these germs from the blood of animals, that were died of anthrax. In his experiments, he inoculated the isolated germs into a healthy animal. Then he observed that, these animals had developed similar kind of symptoms of anthrax. He finally provided the first evidence, that bacteria are the causative agents of diseases, in animals. This has led him to establish Koch's postulates, a series of four principles, to support germ to disease concept. The organism must always be present, in every case of the disease. The organism must be isolated from a host containing the disease, and grown in pure culture. Samples of the organism taken from pure culture, must cause the same disease, when inoculated into a healthy animal, in the laboratory. The organism must be isolated from the inoculated animal, and must be identified, as the same original organism, that was first isolated from the originally diseased host. Although Koch's postulates provided the guidelines to identify the cause of disease, there are some inherent limitations, that could not be answered in those times. Some of these limitations are The postulates explain some infectious diseases but not viruses, as techniques were not developed to isolate viruses during 1800s. Therefore, it was believed that, Koch's postulates are applicable to only a few infectious diseases. As per the third postulate, the experimental animal should develop the disease. But, it did not happen in every case, because of asymptomatic carriers, immunity, and genetic resistance. Koch's postulates fail to explain prion diseases, and other agents, that cannot be grown in cultures. For our understanding, prion is a type of protein that can trigger normal proteins in the brain, to fold abnormally. Prion diseases can affect humans and animals. If you like the video, please hit the like button or comment and share. Please do subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get notified on the upcoming videos.